Hello, this is Anthro Teacher, and I'm going to cover the next uh, step of my process of transforming into an anthro. This anthro on the right here of the desktop. Uh, his name is Nicodemus. That's what I'm trying to transfer into. The, sorry, the camera's backwards, so I have to point the other way. Uh, but to point to the right side, I have to point to my left. This is Nicodemus, and he's an Amaru, that's a species. And I've been trying to turn into an anthro for 20 years, but this specific uh, finally picking a species I want to become, it's been maybe a month or so. Uh, I've known about the Amaru species for three months, and within the past couple weeks or so I found this particular one but I knew I wanted to be Amaru for the past month or two and wanted to be Nicodemus over this way for the past couple weeks because I, I commissioned this a couple weeks ago and I'm gonna pull up this is the transformation that's happened so far uh, when I open to intelligent infinity is my right ear is changing if you look in my left ear here uh, you can see you see a ridge right here uh, that comes down, and it's a little different in this, but the ridge actually is vanished here, so you can tell. Yeah, that part, that big opening is actually that part, but down here, the ridge, the, the fold of the ear, here it has vanished. So, and that's in just a week that I've noticed, uh, a week or two. So, uh, my ears are shifting from the side of my head to the top of my head, I believe. I, that, to become an Amaru, it would need to do that. So, um, part of the fold of my ear is actually disappeared uh, pretty much completely. There's still a, a bump there of a bone or something underneath, but I'm slowly shifting. Uh, transformation is a little painful. Uh, if you ever, ever, if you're a, a guy and ever got hit in your nuts or whatever, and it, it aches a little bit, that's kind of what my bones and, and legs and stuff feel like. It's a dull ache, like when you have the flu or something, but I don't have the flu. Uh, there's a lot of itching. Uh, I don't know if sometimes it feels like I'm growing fur or something. It just feels like it's there, but it's it's not really. But it gets really itchy, like a deep itch, like within me. It's not just a superficial itch. It really gets itchy. Uh, it feels like sometimes my stomach uh, uh, has kind of cramps in it, but it doesn't really hurt that much. It's not super painful. It's not excruciating. Uh, my foot hurt, my left foot hurt quite a bit, uh, but it, but the energy will numb you up. Uh, if you look at the law of one, law of one dot info, the website, uh, you can search the whole law of one and it talks about intelligent and infinity. That when you've opened up all your chakras to, through the crown, you'll open up to intelligent infinity and that's the transformation energy that can transform you. That did that to my ears. Uh, to, to my right ear, it transformed. My left still has somewhat of a ridge, but it's eventually going to go to... So it's a very slow process, 20 years just to have my ridge go from left, what's in the left ear, to kind of what's in the right ear. Uh, disappeared kind of completely. So um, that's that. Uh, and once you start doing that, you can... If you look at the law of one, it's channeled from an entity... Uh, a bunch of entities called Ra, the, the the Egyptian sun god Ra. They were they were channeled into the law of one, and you can actually ask Ra to help you uh, in your transformation. They're a, a six density social memory complex, which is a group of a whole planet of beings that work together. Uh, you can also ask for an anthro uh, guide, spirit guide. Or you can find a friend that's an anthro, a higher dimensional anthro. Uh, ask the universe, can you connect me to my most compatible anthro that can help me transform? You may find a guru or something, a, a guide that is anthro or beyond anthro. They could be like uh, the five, my 5D connection of Rufus here in the middle. Uh, he's fifth density. 
and he's really formless. Uh, but he he is anthro in a way. He he can present an anthro side of himself. So I call him anthro and more. <laughs> So he's kind of like a guide for me. And he and his whole complex, social memory complex of beings are helping me transform too. So you're not in this alone. Uh, you move, you, you transform as fast as you're able to. Uh, I couldn't go any faster because it affects the mind, really. Uh, it can drive you into a certain insanity. Uh, but... Uh, and, and there's a certain pain in it that your body has to get used to and, and kind of numb itself so that the shifting doesn't hurt because nerves and stuff will shift too. And uh, it isn't always much fun. Uh, there's some burning sometimes, sensations, the discomfort, cramps, uh, a little bit like that. Sometimes you have this feeling of going over a roller coaster and... Uh, when you're at the top and you're just going over the top and you have that tickly feeling coming up in you, I feel that all over my body, really, so sometimes. And it's really, it's interesting. It's like the opposite of pain. It's a tickly kind of pain. Sometimes the pain tickles you. Uh, so it's a very slow transformation. Sometimes part of me, like my nose, feels a lot, a little bit smaller than it used to be. I don't know for sure. My foot seems a little smaller, uh, this being of the Amaru are like only, from the movie that I saw them in, they're only like two and a half, or the one I saw, was only two and a half feet tall, so they're really short. So I don't know if I'm going to become short like that, or be a five foot Amaru. I mean, this, uh, on the, on the right side here, Nicodemus, the red one, uh, he, he looks tall, I mean, pretty much in this pose here. So, I've got some distance to go but it's promising that my ear went from kind of like this to this in a week or two so that I noticed it may have done it soon uh it may have taken longer to get there but already I'm seeing a shift so that's it for now I'm keeping this really short and uh I really hope this was helpful to you as a, a second uh take there all right talk to you later bye-bye